Hello dear viewers, I am your friend Shadab Imam and we are continuing our lecture series on queuing theory under operations research. In today's lecture, we are going to study the model for arrival and service times. And in this lecture, we are going to see the characteristics of arrival and service times and we are also going to solve some numericals based on it. So please watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So let us move with the lecture. Let us understand the arrival characteristics first. So the arrivals do not occur at fixed regular interval of time but tends to be clustered or scattered in some fashion. We have already studied this in our previous lecture. So if you have not watched the previous lecture, please go and watch the previous lecture first. So here we know that arrival or we can say the inter arrival times is different and if we look closely, it follows some distribution system. Now, there is one way of calculating it by physically going and analyzing the arrivals and finding the distribution system or else generally it has been assumed that the arrivals follow the Poisson's distribution. And here also we are going to assume that the arrivals follow the Poisson's distribution. And the mean arrival rate which is represented by lambda is the number of arrivals per unit time. Now let us understand about services. So the service time is the time required for the completion of service. That is the time interval between the beginning of a service and its completion. And here also the most common type of distribution used for service times is exponential distribution. And the average service time here is denoted by 1 by mu and is the time required to serve one customer and the mean service rate which is represented by mu here is the number of customers served per unit time. In the previous lecture we have seen that arrival rate and service rate both follows the Markovian property which is represented by capital M but we need to understand that why we are taking arrivals as Poisson's distribution and the service times as the exponential distribution and let us understand this here Poisson's distribution cannot be applied to servicing because of the possibility of the service facility remaining idle for some time and the Poisson's distribution assumed to be fixed time interval for continuous servicing so here it has been clear that in Poisson's distribution we assume the continuous servicing which is not possible in every service condition. So that's why we assume the service times as exponential distribution and the arrival times as the Poisson's distribution. Now let us understand the formula we need to use. Here we need to use this formula when only arrival or service rate is given. That means either lambda or mu is given. So let us understand this. Let us say if there is arrival rate lambda is given only then the probability that the time between two successive arrival is at least t. So here is one formula we need to remember and it came from the property that is a Markovian property here and the probability that the time between the two successive arrival here is given by e to the power minus lambda t. Similarly, the time interval between two successive arrivals can be given by lambda multiplied by e to the power minus lambda t. And if we compare these two equations, we can see here that the probability is given by e to the power minus lambda t and the time interval is given when we multiply the lambda, that is the arrival rate, to this probability. So it is easier to remember now. Now the next formula we need to remember is the probability of n arrivals in time t and this is the very important formula we need to remember here. It is lambda t to the power n multiplied by e to the power minus lambda t divided by factorial n. Here n is the number of arrival, t is the time t in which the arrival takes place and lambda is the arrival rate that is given. Now let us understand that if the service rate mu is given, if the service rate mu is given, probability that a customer shall be served in more than time t is given by e to the power minus mu t. 
and this also is come from the Markovian property and the time interval between the two consecutive service is given by mu multiplied by e to the power minus mu t and again if we compare these two then the time interval is given by mu multiplied by the probability here so it is easier to remember now now let us see the next formula the probability of n complete service in time t now here also an important formula is here which is given by mu t to the power n multiplied by e to the power minus mu t divided by n factorial and if we compare the arrival rate formulas to service rate formula we can see that there is more similarity here the only part different is that the lambda has been replaced by mu in every formula so now i hope it is very easy to remember for you so let us move on and do some problems here let us take this problem in a bank operation the arrival rate is two customers per minute so here arrival rate lambda is given determine the following the probability that no arrivals will occur during the next 30 seconds the probability that at least one arrival will occur during the next 30 seconds and the probability that the time between the two successive arrivals is at least three minutes so let us solve this problem and it has been given that the lambda arrival rate is given as two customers per minute now let us take the part one of this where we have asked the probability that no arrival will occur during the next 30 seconds so we have already read the formula here the probability of n arrivals in time t and this is the formula here so in this formula we can see that n here is no arrival so the value of n that is the number of arrivals is 0 and the time given is 30 seconds now we need to convert this time 30 seconds into minute because the lambda here is given as two customers per minute so in whatever unit we are taking lambda we need to take time in that particular unit so we will convert this time into minutes which is equal to 0 0.5 minutes and the equation here can be given as the probability of zero arrivals in time 0 0.5 minutes and this is given by this formula so we have placed lambda equal to 2 here t equal to 0 0.5 and n equal to 0 now after calculating this we got the value as 0 0.367 or we can say that 36.7 percent so we can say the probability of zero arrivals in 30 seconds is 36.7 percent now let us move on to the second part here in the second part it has been asked that the probability that at least one arrival will occur during the next 30 seconds so we have not done any formula which says that find out the probability of at least one arrival so here we need to use our common sense also so let us find out the total probability of arrival which is unity here that means the probability of arrival of zero person plus the probability of arrival of one person probability of arrival of zero person and so on up to infinity is equal to one or we can say hundred percent and we have been asked that the probability of at least one arrival will occur during the next 30 seconds so as per this we can put up the equation which is equal to this here the probability of having only one person the probability of having two person the probability of having three person and so on and this reflects that there is at least one person here and here also there are two persons that means at least one person is there here also there are three persons that means at least one person is there so all these probabilities by summing it up we will have the probability of at least one person now if we compare these two equations we can see that if I put this P0 which is the probability of having zero person on the other side I will get the exactly same equation as this one so 
our equation this equation can be transformed into this form and this p0 is the probability of zero person in the next 30 seconds and we have already calculated the value of p0 in part a so this can be given as 1 minus 0 0.367367 already we have calculated in part a and this is equal to 0 0.633 or we can say that 63.3 percent so the probability of at least one arrival will occur during the next 30 second is 63.3 percent now let us move on to the part c and it says that the probability that the time between two successive arrival is at least three minutes so we have already learned the formula probability that the time between two successive arrival is at least t so here we will place t equals to 3 minutes in this formula. So the probability that the time between two successive arrivals is at least 3 minutes can be given as e to the power minus 2 into 3 where 2 is the lambda which is given in the problem and 3 is the time which is given here as 3 minutes. And as a result of this we will get 0.00248 or we can say that 0.248%. So the probability that the time between the two successive arrivals is at least 3 minutes is 0.248%. Now let us understand one more problem here. In a bank, 20 customers on the average are served by a cashier in an hour. If the service time has exponential distribution, what is the probability that it will take more than 10 minutes to serve a customer? A customer shall be free within four minutes so let us solve this and mu has been given in the problem which is equal to 20 customers per hour so here the service rate is given 20 customers on an average can be summed by a crash here in an hour so mu is 20 customers per hour let us solve the part a first so we need to find the probability that it will take more than time 10 minutes to serve a customer so we have learned the formula here probability that the customer shall be served in more than time t which is given by e to the power minus mu t here mu is the service rate and t is the time so we will convert this time 10 minutes into hour because mu has been taken in hour 20 customers per hour that's why we need to convert this time t into hour so we have converted this this is equal to 1 by 6 hour and let us put it here probability that a customer shall be served in more than 10 minutes is given by e to the power minus mu t where mu is equal to 20 and t is 1 by 6 and this is coming as 0 0.0357 or we can say 3.57 percent so the probability that a customer shall be served in more than 10 minutes is 3.57 percent now let us solve the part 2 here which says that what is the probability that a customer shall be free within four minutes so here we do not learn a formula which gives us the probability that a customer shall be free within time t so here again we need to use our common sense so the total probability of the service can be broken down into two parts First is the probability of serving within 4 minutes and probability of serving in more than 4 minutes and the total probability here which is the total probability of service is equal to 1 or we can say 100%. So among these two we can see that probability of serving in more than 4 minutes we can calculate this in a similar way we have calculated part A here. So let us calculate this probability that a customer shall be served in more than time t can be given as e to the power minus mu t where mu is 20 which is given in the question and t is 4 minutes so again we will convert this 4 minutes into hour which is equal to 1 by 15 hours now we can convert this equation as below which is equal to probability of serving within 4 minutes is equal to 1 minus probability of serving in more than 4 minutes 
so it has come from here we need to calculate the probability of serving within 4 minutes and we can calculate the probability of serving in more than 4 minutes so we can take it on the opposite side and this will be our new revised equation and the probability of serving within 4 minutes can be given by 1 minus e to the power minus mu t here mu is equals to 20 which is given in the problem and t is 1 by 15 just as we have discussed here now after calculating this we will get the value as 0 0.736 or we can say that 73.6 percent so the probability of serving within 4 minutes can be given as 73.6 percent so i hope this lecture is useful to you if you like this please subscribe and share the lecture have a nice day thank you